will put away your cares and woes, at least for the next few minutes. Mike Stevens says pretty pictures are what's showing this time in the PhotoLink library. We stay in our homes, limit our travels, our visits, and we miss scenes like a summer sunset over a soybean field in Wapwallapan. Jillian Wydrak caught the moment. John Peterson of Pittston with a quiet moment on the Susquehanna. We don't get to see such things that often. What about a sunflower up close and personal from Andrew Kuturak in Wilkesbury? Oh, and from Teresa Mann of Lehighton, a sunflower with a butterfly on it. And if that isn't enough for you, how about a field of sunflowers along Route 87 as seen by James Robbins of Montgomery? We may be heading for an early autumn, judging by this fallen apple tree leaf in Cynthia Roth's yard in New Media. But that's out of our hands, isn't it? So for now, we'll enjoy a few more photos from days gone by, not so long ago. Susan Galetti of Bloomsburg, sunrise at Buckhorn. Kind of a dark and stormy night from Amber Jones of Wilkesbury. The mist rising at Lake Crescent at Montrose by Geraldine Reed. The mist of a morning makes an interesting image from Sue H. of Nicholson. From Bill Janowski of Gillette, a foggy, misty morning indeed. Sunset by the pasture gate from Cindy Shaner of Hughesville. We'll close with this Jim Legg image, sunset in Goolsboro. Some days it's all you need to make it a great day. See it, save it, send it to PhotoLink Library. We'll see you here next time. I'm Mike Stevens.